Good morning, Year 9. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. Please can you write the date and the title, Benedict and Beatrice's Relationship. For this lesson, you will need a copy of the extract from Act 5, Scene 2, access to YouTube to watch some clips, and different coloured pens and highlighters. For your do now, I would like you to answer the following question. What do you associate with love poetry? Write a short description. Pause the video for five minutes to do this now. So, things you might have written down, an expression of feelings, a romantic comparison to what their love is like, or what the beauty of the person is like, rhyme scheme only if it comes naturally to the speaker, lyrical song-like quality, Valentine's Day and perhaps Shakespearean sonnets, a traditional form of love poetry. If you didn't get these down, please could you add them to your list. So today's focus is what is the relationship between Beatrice and Benedict and how has it changed since the start of the play? What I would like you to do is watch the scene summary of Act 5, Scene 2 and then the clip from the scene. Write your first impressions about this scene. How is the relationship between Beatrice and Benedict presented here? For a challenge, I would like you to watch this video where the actress playing Beatrice talks about the role and how Beatrice changes throughout the play. Pause the video for 10 minutes to do this now. After a quick exchange with Margaret, Benedict is left alone when we see him trying to write a love poem for Beatrice. I'd like you to read this through and jot down some notes on what you think it means and if you think it's very good. It's not very good. He can't find any good rhymes. He makes allusions to other famous lovers from mythology, Leander and Trollius. He claims to be in, as in love as them, but not able to demonstrate it. So then Beatrice arrives. We now see the two of them more relaxed and back to their jokey interactions from earlier in the play. Read through what's on the slide and answer this question. How do they describe the way they feel about each other here? Pause the video for five minutes to do this now. So they are honest about their love, but suggest it is something that they suffer and do in spite of themselves. This makes it sound like something painful that they don't want to do but can't help. They acknowledge that they can't be in love without also joking with each other. It's the way they are together. Benedict suggests it's because they are both wise, showing his awareness of Beatrice, Beatrice's intelligence. So what is the relationship between Beatrice and Benedict across the play so far? I'd like you to create a table tracking their relationship across the play. And as a challenge, I'd like you to include quotations. So pause the video for 10 minutes to copy out the the chart, the table on the slide, and complete it. Okay, so how is the relationship between Claudio and Hero similar and different to the relationship between Beatrice and Benedict? Once again, complete the table and add any of your own connections as well. Pause the video for 10 minutes to do this now. Okay, so this is the completed table. So history of the relationship before the play, Beatrice and Benedict, there's some ill feeling. We have the implication that they've been together before and that Beat Benedict ended things. With Claudio and Hero, Claudio had seen Hero and liked her, but was thinking about the war ahead. What about at the start of the play? Ben Beatrice and Benedict, they argue, showing off their wit to each other, sometimes insulting each other. With regards to Claudio and Hero, Claudio falls in love and wants to marry Hero as soon as possible. We don't know what Hero thinks. And um, why are they well suited to each other? Beatrice and Benedict are both clever and looking for someone who can converse well. Claudio is a handsome man who is well respected, and Hero is a modest, beautiful woman with money. Obstacles. For Beatrice and Benedict, their refusal to back down and be seen as wrong. They have to be tricked into it. With regards to Claudio and Hero, Don John manages to trick, trick Claudio twice, playing on his jealousy and quick temper. But at the end of the play, both couples end up getting married. So make sure you've noted this all down. Finally, reflection. The play follows the journey of two pairs of lovers. Which relationship do you think is more likely to last? I'd like you to write a paragraph explaining why, using evidence from the play to justify your opinions. As a challenge, I'd like you to explore the effect of language and structure to show how the relationships change across the play. Please include references to context as well. Pause the video for 15 minutes to do this now. 
Well done for your work today. Next time we'll be looking at the final scene, the second wedding. So thank you very much and I'll speak to you next time.